chapter 3. And if his offering be a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offer of the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. He shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering, and kill it at the door of the tent of meeting. And our own sons, the priest, shall dash the blood against the altar round about. And he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat that covers the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away hard by the kidneys. And our own sons shall make it smoke on the altar upon the burnt offering, which is upon the wood that is on the fire, it is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he bring a lamb for his offering, then shall he present it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering and kill it before the tent of meeting. And our own son shall dash the blood thereof against the altar round about. And he shall present of the sacrifice of the peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat thereof, the fat tail entire, which he shall take away hard by the rump bone, and the fat that covers the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away by the kidneys. And the priest shall make it smoke upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire unto the Lord. And if his offering be a goat, then he shall present it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of it, and kill it before the tent of meeting. And the sons of Aaron shall dash the blood against the altar round about. And he shall present thereof his offering, even an offering made by fire unto the Lord the fat that covers the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the, li and the, lobe above the liver, which he shall take away by the kidneys. And the priest shall make them smoke upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire. For a sweet savor, all the fat is the Lord's. It shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations and all your dwellings that you shall eat neither fat nor blood. All right, let's go back up to verse 1. And we're going to, once again, be just continuing uh, from the last chapter. We've been in the beginning since the beginning, and we've been just continuing in the beginnings. Uh, we have the beginning of this, and we got the beginning of that. Everything has a beginning. Of course, it has a choice, I guess, when it has a beginning, we can either have an end, or we can just go around again, and sometimes that's where we find ourselves, just going around again, but yesterday's, or the last chapter, as we go through Leviticus, we are discussing uh, different kinds of offerings, different kinds of pres presentations, or things we might bring before the Lord for different degrees of of, of life itself, uh, one, I mean, we have been through the moral value, the, the, that which you will offer up for that. We'll find out the Lord separated and, and, and sanctified certain things from the beginning for certain purposes, and the Lord knew what he was doing when he, when he did it. But this meal offering, meal offering is a, it's just a, a, general purpose, you might say, offering um, something that's brought near unto the Lord um, for whatever purpose, and, and we found out that there was a little separation, though, in how it would be presented, as well as how these the offering of the first fruits would be presented, uh, the first fruits being the, the first harvest or the, the young harvest before it's actually even taken in, it's tender and young and, and just beginning to come forth. But there's a little dry measure. There's a little bit of oil. There's a little bit of understanding. That dry measure, flour, it always makes up that bread of life, we could say. Uh, that little dry measure is a little bit of judgment that comes from it all, you might say. A little lesson. One way or another, uh, we're going to get the lesson sooner or later. 
and we're going to arrive uh, at the point where the Lord has uh, purposed us to be. So we're going to pick it up here in verse 1, continuing um, in these things and the pr presentation of them before the Lord. Verse 1, And if his offering be a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offer of the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. So now his offering is going to be of the herd. Uh, those That's those that cause to pull. They're caused to pull or plow, do some kind of uh, labor, you might say. Of preparing the soil, preparing the ground. You're going to make a sacrifice of one of these. It's a peace offering. A peace offering is a shalom. Shalom it sounds like uh, peace, uh, I guess, because that's basically what it is. Uh, it's voluntary. It's of your own heart. Willingly, you've done it. No, it was not, not a part of, a, of the law. In other words, how you have to offer it is, but in the fact that you haven't really done no sin um, it's just to uh, keep it safe you might say to play it safe uh, it's for peace it's to, uh, for good welfare um, uh, in the future you might say of both uh, the, the body the mind and the state well, of course the state is our, our present state of being uh, you might say as a whole but it doesn't matter if you're going to offer one of the herd uh, we're going to find out that greater cattle male or female masculine or feminine whether it's um, uh, we get we kind of get that uh, a negative positive thing here with the male and female or that that which is uh, the dominant or the the uh, not dominant in a sense. He shall offer it without a blemish. It shall be without a blemish before the Lord. Those of the herd, these ones that are caused to pull even too. He shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering and kill it at the door of the tent of meeting. Now our own sons, the priest shall dash the blood against the altar round about. And he shall lay his hand upon the head. That's his works upon the head of his offering. As we'll find out, the in a sense to trans, transpose his thoughts over onto the beast and, and kill it at the door, and we'll find out that's uh, done in a specific way uh, to offer it there at the tent door or slay it. Even that place where we all have a similar agreement. Aaron's sons, the priest shall dash the blood against the altar round about, and Aaron's sons shall. So they will dash the blood, and of course that's to offer that up to the Lord. These are the priests, those that stand before the Lord, Aaron's sons, those that come forth to carry on that Shem as the light bringer. That's simply that we to give you a little bit of understanding that's coming off that fire. That That's the, how you get the light. If, you, if the fire's lit, there's an anointing lit. That anointing is of the Lord. We'll find out it's on the priest at this time. And uh, this is the ordinance. This, they present these things to the Lord uh, for you. Three, he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the Lord. The fat that covers the inwards and all the fat that is upon the inwards. And he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering that's made by fire. That's that judgment that comes off of it. It's what consumes uh, that which is being sacrificed. It's a peace offering. We'll find that's for the well-being or to keep it safe. It uh, may not be for you. It could be for the state. Uh, it, the state's always existed in a sense of, of the welfare of the entire embodiment of the people. It's made by fire. Of course, that's a little bit of judgment that comes from the Lord. Uh, the fat that covers the inwards. This fat here is all the goodness, you might say. And we look at that, all this goodness that covers the inwards. And, you know, you got it made. You got all the understanding and knowledge. Well, there's other things as well. All the fat that is upon the inwards, um, we'll find, belongs to the Lord. The All the fat that covers the inwards. That's what, what's in the midst of it. Uh, and we'll find out that knowledge and wisdom God gave you from the beginning. All the goodness that come from it belongs to the Lord. 
uh, you will uh, give it back and give the Lord's glory of it. Give it him the praise for it because we'll find out he gave it to you in the beginning. It belongs to him. And you just get to borrow it for a little while. It's kind of like a breath. When you breathe in, you can hold it if you want. But sooner or later, you got to give it back. God just loaned that to you. Four. And the two kidneys and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away hard by the kidneys. And these two kidneys, of course, the kidneys, we, we get into these figurative meanings of these things, but we get the, you know, ever, we got kidneys as well as these, these animals, these, but these witness these kidneys, because there's two of them. The word is kilia, and it's used only in the plural because uh, most likely you have two kidneys. Uh, it's an ascent, or kilia, kilia, kilia would be the same as saying one or two. It's an essential organ, figuratively, the mind, uh, as the the mind within, of course, that's the reins, you might say. Uh, that's what the kidneys represent, the reins or this control that is within, or your mind, basically. Uh, and the fat that is on them, and all this goodness that comes from that, we'll find out. It belongs to the Lord. We're going to contribute that even unto the Lord, Hashem, because he gave it to us in the beginning. That which is by the loins, these loins, um, King James Version, I said, I believe it says flanks or uh, the word is kassel, uh properly. It's the fatness of it uh, that when we're going to find out these flanks are actually the very good portion that runs down beside each side of the backbone. Literally, it's the loins, and that's what I'm just, I was talking about. It's the seat of the leaf fat. So it's its where the leaf fat sits. It's on the best part. or gen, uh, uh, And it can it's looked as a good sense. All this, that good part, that good, the fat that sits upon it, all that goodness. It's kind of like your confidence, you might say, that the Lord gave you in the beginning. The lobe above the liver. Of course, that little lobe that's above the liver is the lobe that's on the liver itself. It's The liver is made where the liver joins together, and then it has lobes. And these lobes are what we're talking about. That's what hangs out. It's like an excess of the liver, in a sense. Uh, that's It's kind of like more than the liver needed. Uh, it, it excelled out past uh, where it was connected from. And that's kind of what we get from it. it. It's it's all the good part of it, too, which he shall take away hard by the kidneys. And they're right next to the kidneys is where they would be located. All this goodness and this fatness and the ability to control it, all of that belongs to the Lord. You, you're going to give it to him because we'll find out. Uh, the... Um, The overall understanding is God give you all you need. He already give you everything you need. We have to return or give him a good portion of it, uh, as we'll find out. Five, and our own son shall make it smoke on the altar upon the burnt offering, which is upon the wood that is on the fire, that it is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. So our own sons, that was their job. The light bringer, all those that come forth from him to carry on the shem. This was their job. They made it smoke. They made it make sense, you might say, and go up unto the Lord off the altar. That's where they were slaying these burnt offerings. We'll find out these burnt offerings are that which is making atonement for uh, sometimes. Um, uh, you know, the the peace offering is for peace, you might say. the Sometimes you might see somebody do something they are not aware of yet of their mistake. So we might take a peace offering down of the Lord down just to keep everybody in good shape. But the, uh, 
this burnt offering, which is upon the wood, of course the wood's that which you shoot down, my friends. It come, that's what's being burnt here on the fire. That's the place of judgment. We're going to burn that too. It exalted itself in the forest. It made itself uh, ripe and ready. It's an offering that's made by fire. That's the judgment. That's what the fire represents. Fire always represents a, a good judgment. It's a sweet savor unto the Lord. It's just the way the Lord wanted it, you might say. Six, it's, it's, everything's in its perspective. Everything's in its proper arrangement. Uh, it's in order. And when it's done like that, the Lord accepts it. Six, and if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If his offering, we're going to find out, uh, we're going to change paragraphs, but we're still within the same subject of these peace offerings. These peace offerings, once again, Shalem, it's voluntary. It's voluntary. Um, there's going to be several ways to offer it. We never know what the Lord's going to give us to offer uh, until the moment of it comes. Kind of like that with Abraham when he looked, and there, there it was. There was a he goat tangled in the branches thereof. Same simile, too. So we have to know how to offer. We see what the Lord has given us, and then we know how to present it to the Lord uh, properly, uh, according to the law. But these uh, of the flock, we're going to find out this is going to be a peace offering of the flock, not of the herd. Of course, the herds are the greater cattle. Uh, we may have explained those before. Uh, they got a little pull. They, we cause them to pull. They do a little work. They prepare the soil, you might say, the, the earth, and that's everything made from it, including your flesh. Um, it's of the flock, but this one here is of the flock. A flock are of the lesser cattle. That's those that are led easy, those that um, are led, uh, you might say. They, um, uh, these congregations even that are led, but this is going to be a male of a female. We're going to each of the, of the of the separate difference in the flock, the goat or the sheep. And we're going to this is going to be of the sheep, male or female. It doesn't matter. He shall offer it without a blemish. It shall not have a blemish, and we'll find out. It would be taken before the priest. The priest would inspect it, and he would tell you if it had a blemish. Of course, you've already inspected it, but the priest he's going to do just a little better job. Uh, having a little more understanding of what the blemish is. Seven, if he bring a lamb for his offering, then he shall, then shall he present it before the Lord. So now if he brings a lamb, this is one of the flock, male or female, it's of the sheep, he shall present it before the Lord. He's going to bring it before the Lord, just like he did the bullock. Yeah, it's always brought before the Lord. Then the Lord's going to look at it. He's going to inspect it. See, everybody's checked it out. Now the Lord's going to check it out. Eight, he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering and kill it before the tent of the meeting. Our own son shall dash the blood thereof against the altar round about. So the Lord's accepted it. You can lay your hands upon the head of the offering, that which you present to the Lord. At your works, you're going to pass, you're going to transfer this knowledge, or uh, we'll, we'll find out whatever that was. Of course, the Lord knows, and you know, and really, uh, the priest knows it's something because you're bringing your offering. As well as this, the, the, the transfer is into the beast, because that's what it represents, a transfer of, of this into the beast so that you it may be gone from you. There and such, dash the blood. That's what stands for the life because it, it probably would have been a violation of or something uh, to um, that which would have required a life. And it's to dash this blood against it is that transfer of that to the altar. Well, of course, that's the place where it's being slain or that even not only the beast. The beast here is going to represent whatever that was. Of course, it could be various in nature it ain't one thing it could be several things that would require this peace offering nine and he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the lord the fat thereof the fat tail entirely which he shall take away hard by the rump bone and the fat that covers the inwards and all the fat that is upon the inwards he shall present of the sacrifice 
of peace offerings and offering made by fire. Once again, that's the judgment. The Lord put a judgment on it. You understand the judgment. You present it in a in a way to say, uh, but give me peace or protect me, protect these, protect all the others who might maybe uh, in an undecided fate of of the proposed guilt of, a, of an offense of some kind, most likely. Uh, in other words, you're asking the Lord to protect everybody else from the sin, maybe, of, of, of something or that you have seen or possibly seen or a possible offense that you have seen. But anyway, this is an offering made by fire, and it's for the restitution or the, the requital, you might say, or the return of these un, uh, from that path, you might say. We're praying for others. It's the fat thereof, the fat tail entirely, which he shall take away hard by the rump bone. So he's going to offer all the fat once again. This fat belongs to the Lord. It's all the goodness that come from that. Uh, we'll find out. The Lord gives you the ability to see, and when he gives you the ability to see, um, there's a little bit of thanks that comes from that, even in a peace offering that uh, we see this going on. But uh, the Lord, the reason the Lord gives you the ability to see it is because of the goodness and all that glory, all that fat that comes from that goes to the Lord. This fat tail, entire, uh, is what it says here. And that means entirely, all of it, as we'll find out, it's going to go right up by the rump bone. Uh, uh, and, and really, it's all the fat that goes with it. And it represents the whole fat uh, of the rump. That word is Al-Yah, and it's that stout part, uh, the fat tail or the uh, rump. And generally, you know, the rump is in the rear. Uh, and all this fat that covers the inwards or that which is within, that's all the fat that is upon the inwards. All this goodness, even that's within that we see, it's always got. It always belongs to the Lord. The Lord, and all the fat just represents us, and so we have to have something to represent these things in life. If we don't, now we have no way to show. Uh, not only us, we these things are done for others as well. Ten and the two kidneys and the fat that is upon them, which is by the loins and the lobe above the liver which he shall take away by the kidneys. So once again, these two kidneys, that's all the strengths, that's the range, that's the controls of these matters. And this fat, the goodness that comes with it, uh, with the loins, that's uh, to all of it. That's the good place, that's the good substance of it, that's all the fat of it, the lobe of the liver. That's the excess that it even excels out past that portion uh, the liver, uh, liver is the heaviest organ of the body, and the liver is that which, it, it's like the weighty portion of it, there's a little bit, a weight's kind of like something we can use to mash down with or press down, the, but, and the, the, this good portion that comes from that, we, I guess we could look at it that way, it is the Lord, because we'll find out the Lord it, uh, made it all in the beginning, and, uh, all that good, all the goodness that comes from it, no matter what it is, we'll find out it belongs to the Lord. And these, this lobe of the liver is there by the kidneys. Of course, the kidneys uh, stand for the, the ability to control this access, the, the excess, the ability to control um, all the goodness and the fat and to give it to the Lord. Of course, that's the priest job, 11, and the priest shall make it smoke on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire unto the Lord. And the priest, that's the one that stands before the Lord. This is his job. Shall make it smoke upon the altar. That's the place where it's slain. It represents, it is the food of the offering made by fire. A food substance. A food gives it the nourishment. A food offered by fire. 
uh, is that the substance, of course, that caused it to be under the judgment of the Lord. The, the, it's his job to make sense of it and to explain it in a way. You might say um, that gives one ability. 12. And if his offering be a goat, then he shall present it before the Lord. And if his offering be a goat, now we're going to change paragraphs. We're still on the same subject. These are still the uh, peace offerings. 13. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of it, kill it before the tent of me, and the sons of Aaron shall dash the blood thereof against the altar round about. So once again, we're going to handle it the same way. We're going to bring the goat uh, before the Lord. Lay the hands upon the head. He's going to transfer whatever it was to the beast. to kill it before the tent of meeting. And we'll get this. This is the same way when we use a scapegoat for the transfer of sins and all, all, to, of all the children. We, we're going to use this simul, or this of a similarity in, um, with the peace offerings. And kill it before the tent of meeting. That's, that's to slay it. Of course, it's where everybody has an agreement. This is the purpose of these things in the first place to make atonement um, for the sins and the sons of Aaron should dash the blood thereof against the altar round about so the sons of Aaron that's those that uh, come forth from him those masculines are going to keep the sham and keep the order thereof of our own that's the light bringer they shall dash that blood the blood's the life of the animal the blood of that which represents the um um, life, I guess we can look at it like that. The Lord made you flesh in the beginning for um, a mercy. 14. He shall present thereof his offering. An offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat that covers the inwards and all the fat that's on the inwards. And he present thereof the offering. That's that which he is giving of a free will. Of course, when it's given and required, as required, the uh, there is an order of things in the way it must be presented. It has to be done exactly correctly. It, it just can't be done by anybody. Of course, anybody can bring it. Then everything else gets very specific after that point. It's an offering that's made by fire unto the Lord. And that's the reason, because this is an offering, something you're presenting to be uh, consumed by the judgment of, of the Lord the fat that covers the inwards and all the goodness of it that's on within it and all the fat that's upon the inwards and that's all the fat that's upon the inwards uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find out just like you uh, scrape it out and remove all the fat 15 and the two kidneys and the fat that is upon them which is by the loins and the lobe above the liver which he shall take away by the kidneys and these two kidneys, once I skin these kidneys, because we've, uh, as I've stated, it's like the, the, it is a similitude of the mind within the organs of the body as the kidneys um, um, are as like the reins, that which uh, controls it in a sense. And the fat that is upon them, so as we'll find out, they would be stuck uh, in place to the back, so when the rest of the organs uh, uh, would come out, these would remain um, uh, behind, and they are by the loins. The loins are those two strips that run down the back. They're the 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 good portion, as you might say, the lobe and the lobe above the liver. Of course, those lobes are the excess that grow off the liver, and in the, in the as a lobe. They are located right there by the kidneys, which lay upon the uh, loins. And, you know, it's all the goodness, all the fatness. This excess is all seems to be in one place. 16. And the priest shall make them smoke upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire for a sweet savor. All the fat is the Lord's. And the priest shall make them smoke upon the altar. And that's his job. Uh, he's the one that stands before the Lord. And when you present your offering before the Lord, of course, it's his job to offer it in a fashion that's suitable for whatever its needs may be. And, and of course, he's going to be the one that 
does that transfer of the understanding between you and the Lord to put it in a proper perspective um, that make that offering by fire of course it's going to be that judgment that comes from the Lord it's a sweet savor to the Lord all the fat is the Lord's all that goodness portion that comes from it he gets the satisfaction of making the final decision we'll find out that judgment 17 it shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations and all your dwellings that you shall eat neither fat nor blood it shall be a perpetual statute that means he can't do away with it nobody can change it it's unaffected by anything anybody says or any word said once the Lord establishes it says it's perpetual it's like the sun coming up in the morning if it don't happen we just won't be here it's throughout your generations. That's to show you it's forever. It doesn't matter when you're alive, where you're alive, or who you are. It's it's there in your dwellings. This is where you live, where you're at. It don't matter where you're at. You shall eat neither fat nor blood. And we remember the Lord said not the blood from the beginning, but this fat. All the goodness belongs to the Lord, my friend. We... uh the Lord give you everything, everything, and we'll find out. He give you everything so you would have a great excess enough to give away. This best portion belongs to the Lord. We return it to the Lord because we'll find out it never was yours. Uh, you wound up with it. You had an excess, and that excess, we'll find out, is the Lord's. The Lord says, hey, you can bring that back to me. Give that back to me. I, you got that by mistake. A little too much there for you, maybe. Or maybe enough's enough. You know, you got enough, enough's enough. So that's that's kind of the way it, it works. And enough would have been enough. Um, but there was an excess. We're going to move forward to Leviticus chapter 4. Turn. And return.